David Lee Ross got an opinion on everything. He told us exactly how he feels about life, love, and making music. My first starring role on stage, I was Mr. Bookworm when I was nine years old. And uh, that was the class play. I was the only one who could remember the words, much less sing them, you know. And then the song I still remember was, My name is Mr. Bookworm, I hope you like to read. And then I would dance over to a little book, you know, or actually a big book facade. And I'd say, well, here's Oz. Let's see what's behind the cover now. And I'd open it up, and these little freaky types would dance out all the characters of Oz. And I'd go, why, look what we have here. And I'm still doing the same thing. I dance over to the guitar player, and I say, let's see what we have here, little Mr. Ed. What do you have? Well, listen to that, will you? <laughs> just goes on, except now I'm paid for it. Goals is something you try and reach for, you know. The goal is something that the counselor always tells you in school you should have, you know. I don't know, I always had trouble in school, you know, speaking of school, it's, I remember once for about six, eight months, I carried around a little briefcase when I was in high school, it contained nothing but a little legal tablet. One day I brought it home, my father looked inside, he says, what's that for? I says, it's to remember stuff. He says, there's nothing on the paper. I says, I forgot the pencil. Marriage, family. I'm a very family-oriented kind of guy. I personally started three or four in 1983, and we'll be carrying on that tradition all the way through 84. Marriage is the kind of thing, you know, I will say right now that all the other fellas in the band are married, but lest we lose faith, they are not all living together. Women. Mm -hmm. Women's great googly googly. <laughs> I've been rich and I've been poor. <laughs> rich is better because then you get more women. Mm. <laughs> Where would life be without women? What would life be without women? What would rock and roll be without women? Sex. Mm, women. <laughs> See above. Sex, sex is, is sex is an essential part of rock and roll. It definitely is. It's the physical aspect of it. And rock and roll for me always was more physical than mental. That's why you never read my my lyrics on the back of the albums. It's not poetry. It's more like one long monologue. You know, it's one long da 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 da, and that all most of it comes from below the belt. Love is the great invisible. A lot of bands talk about love, but they don't really mean love. They're talking about an expression of love. And I don't know, I don't think I've ever really been in love. I've been infatuated before, but I've never really had a steady girlfriend, so I couldn't tell you. I somehow I imagine if I fall in love, that I'll know it right away. Michael Jackson will be dancing. Whether he's dancing with the mannequins in his basement, or whether he's dancing with Louis the Lama in his backyard, or whether he's dancing with beer commercial people, or whatever, it'll be Michael, and Michael is probably the best dancer we have among us now in the field. Boy, oh boy, I love Boy George. Anybody who can look like that and carry a tune is, is I'll buy it. That's worth eight ninety eight. <laughs> It was 9.98. You know, the thing about Boy George, you know, he started out with that reggae influence, the Boy George thing. And um, I'm glad you brought that up, Martha, because I'm going to be legally changing my name to Ja Roth. Who knows what's happening with politics? Probably least of all the politicians, you know. It's, I always avoid talking about politics because I always found it very curious that once you make a million selling movie, like when the Rocky movies were really, really popular and Sly Stallone was on Johnny Carson and this and that show and everything, and they said, well, Sly, tell us what you think about what's going down in the Mideast. I said that was a little bit, what does he know about the Mideast? And I'm afraid that if I start philosophizing politics, what if I'm wrong? The Clash. Whatever happened to The Clash? 
<laughs> Another course in political science gone wrong. I know how I felt in political science in school, and I'm not about to pay eight ninety eight to get into a show and hear it again now that I'm out. It's uh, you know I made the statement before that you know the clash. Uh, they have a lot on their minds. They're trying to change a lot of things, and a lot of it is very has a lot of merit. It's very valid ideas. But they need a new drummer, and so they're not talking just these days. <laughs> Elvis Costello, I said it years ago. The reason the critics like Elvis Costello better than Van Halen is because they all look like Elvis Costello. Now Elvis Costello, who knows? Now we have a whole world full of Clark Kents out there. What a change. What a switch, huh? Everybody wanted to be, you know... Everybody wanted to be Superman and be a ball player and a sports star and everything for a period of time in our society. And now we have a whole society full of Clark Kent. However, it's going to be changing. You know, you can hear it in the music. You know, when the guy comes out and says, in a big country, doesn't that sound like a cigarette commercial to you? You know, the big cowboy comes out and he says, what are you smoking, pilgrim? The little guy goes, these little light ones here. And he says, why don't you think big in a big country? And I think the heroes are coming back. I hear it in the tunes. Rush. We haven't heard from Rush in quite a while. You know, I always, I always point fingers at some of the most obvious examples of this or that. Rush and Journey are two bands I always pointing fingers at and holding up as an illustration of one thing or another. But you have to understand, I perceive of this entire business as rather professional wrestling. Andre the Giant versus the Samoans in a no-holds-barred grudge match next Thursday night in a cage. You know, <laughs> that sort of thing. How can you take it seriously? Evidently, some of these other bands do take it very, very seriously. God bless, I'm sorry. You know, Rush takes themselves rather seriously. You know, they have that techno rock. That's not my ilk, you know. Same thing for Journey. They're off into a different thing. Both bands have several songs that uh, I appreciate, just like any other tape, any other record I have in the next room. There's no one whole band, one whole record I can seem to truly love. Not even Van Halen material. The rest of the year for the rest of the band will be a lot dependent on what happens with this tour and this record and etc cetera, etc cetera. and that's a day by day kind of thing you know you can never truly predict where a rock band is going to be in a year's time or during a given year because rock bands are very fragile units they're very fragile mechanisms you know you got a lot of things at play there and uh, rock bands are like dogs who chase cars you know, they make a lot of noise but they don't get a lot of attention but they don't last too long so, we'll see what happens with Van Halen. I don't know what I'm going to do. I know I'm just, like I say, as long as you live every single day as completely as you possibly can, try and fill up your bucket with as many things as you can see and hear without closing yourself off from the outside world, which is easy to do. You put on your rock and roll blinders, you know, and that's all you see is the mirror. Me, me, me. Like that. If you open up your eyes, then there's all kinds of things you can find to do. Do you consider yourself a normal person? Absolutely not. And I'm tired of, of reading in the front piece of every interview. Everybody is so sure to remind you, I'm just like everybody else. I drink beer with the guys, you know. I'm out in the street. I'm the boy next door. Look, I get along with the boy next door, but I'm not the boy next door. That's it for this edition of Liner Notes. I am Alan Hunter. Stay tuned for the second half of the 